Morning and all, welcome along. This morning we're in this 2007 Willoughby Salisbury 33 by 12 2 bed. It's 13885. It's got double glazing gas central heating. Nice caravan all round. Going to give you a quick look around, show you the condition, and point out any bits and pieces I feel like you need to know. So, starting off in this living room area here, we can see we've got this three seater sofa, which just checking behind is freestanding. So, this nice three seater sofa, upholstery on this one is all good, no complaints at all. Carpet in this living room area is also good, no issues. And then on our right hand side, we've got this two seater sofa. This one, I believe. Um, I don't know if it's ever been fixed, but it is freestanding now anyway. So I just sort of point that out. Sometimes people like to know if they can put their own furniture in. But as it is, you've got two nice looking sofas, a three seater and a two seater, which to be honest, I don't think there's any rush to change anyway. Got this nice day seat under the window there. So uh, if you've got a dog or a cat, it's got a nice place for them to sit. If not, I suppose you could put a couple of guests there as well. Spinning round, we've got a area at the front there for your TV. And then we've got our gas fire mantelpiece over the top. And then shelving unit over in the corner where our gas radiator is. We've got two radiators up at this end. We've got the one on the left hand side there with the shelving unit, and there was one. It, there is one over on the right hand side by the radi uh, Sorry, by the dining table. The dining table itself is a, I don't, it's a bit of an odd one for a caravan. Really needs probably taken out, and putting a, a normal size shaped one in because it obviously takes up quite a lot of room. But you might have your own to fit in here. Um, we can have a look and see. But as you can see, nice little uh, front layout here. Um, really nice and tidy, nice carpet, nice upholstery and nothing really to worry about doing um, which is really nice. There is going to be a bit of delamination, just having a look around a few bits. Um, the fire top I think might have been stuck a little bit. Um, just looking at the doors around there, they don't look too bad but might have a bit in the kitchen to have a look at so we'll see that when we get there. But yeah, nice living room areas you can see. Shelving unit over on the left hand side here to just pop a few bits and pieces on. And if I spin around this way, you can see also we've got a lot of windows as well. Nice big picture, rectangular and square windows on the front there, letting in lots of natural light. Got your window on the door side over there on the left, and we've got a little one there on the right hand side as well. And then we've got a big window for the dining area, so um, all quite nice and light in the caravan. Kitchen then, so we've got a fridge freezer uh, built in over there underneath the worktop. Nice little extra piece of worktop there as well that you could use over in the corner, which you don't, a lot of times sometimes don't get. So quite nice to have that extra piece there. And then turning to our kitchen, you can see we've got the sort of cream ivory white uh, doors um, that you often get in the, the Salisbury or pretty common in the Salisbury and a few of the other Willoughby caravans. Gas oven on the right hand side, um, plenty of worktop and um, cupboard space above and around and below as you can see. Looking at the doors then and seeing, looking at some edges just to see whether we've got some issues. Um, that one's taped actually as you can see so that's coming away and they've put some tape on it. That's obviously one thing you can do. Um, some people cut and stick them or whatever. This sort of colour door makes it a lot easier because actually if you rip all the plastic stuff off the front you could just roll them with some white or gloss, you know, white or ivory or cream paint whatever and um, and you'd have pretty much the same finish on them so um, you know they're not too bad for, for replacing. Um, exterior door then by our dining area just the one of those and that comes in there next to our dining area and fridge freezer. We've got a door dividing off our living room area from the bedrooms as you can see and if we walk down the hallway to the back of the caravan, a bit dark down the hallway no windows but back of the caravan here you can see uh, we've got a nice size main bedroom we've got lots of storage over on the right hand side we've got uh, the tall almost floor to ceiling wardrobes cupboards above the bedside um, to tables there and then the cupboards below bedside tables as well so lots of storage nice little desk over on the left hand side here um, gas radiator with the window here which is on the non-door side of the caravan we've got a decent looking mattress Got a lift up bed as well. Don't know if it will lift up this mattress because it's quite thick. Um, oh, it's strapped down. Let's just do this so you can just see the storage you get underneath the mattress, under the bed. Sorry. So the mattress is too heavy for this uh, this bed to be honest. So it doesn't quite hold. But with a slightly smaller mattress, that'll hold up the top there. Um, but nice storage underneath the bed as well. Just to highlight, you've got a door here which people often think is an ensuite it can be an ensuite it's a jack and jill bathroom so it can act as an ensuite but you can also keep it locked and just use it as a bathroom off the main hallway coming out of there and spinning immediately to our right here where the door is for the twin room 
You can see there's no mattresses in there in here at the moment. That's not a problem. We can fit two single mattresses in here. That would be free of charge, no problem at all. So just let us know if you want us to do that. Equally, we can also take them out and you can use it for storage or uh, put them together and have a double bed. Up to you what you do. Wardrobe, and we've got another gas radiator there. Opposite there, as you can see, we've got the three doors. So the main bedroom in the middle, twin to the left, and the bathroom to the right. Opening the bathroom door, that opens inwards. And we've got our toilet on the left-hand side. Our sink and storage in the middle, and then our shower to the right. Nice size shower, goes back a 50-50 sliding door, and then once you're in the shower itself, it's quite a decent size enclosure. And then if I turn around here, I'll just show you the doors. So you've got the ensuite sort of door there into the main bedroom, and then we've got the uh, bathroom door there out into the hallway, so you can use it for whichever. Boiler is on the left-hand side here. As you can see, I'm just going to head back to the bedroom just to check a couple of doors in here because I think I remember. Yeah, so there's a couple of doors in here that are delaminating. You can see the fronts. I don't know if you can see it in the in the video, but the fronts are coming away. So again, that's a fairly common thing with doors, as you'll know with any of my videos. Edges going a little bit, but um, like I say, because of the colour of them, it makes it a lot easier to to sort of strip them off and paint them potentially. So we're going to have a look around the outside now and see what you think. So we're outside the Salisbury here, having a look around, just looking at the panels and checking that for damage and pointing anything out. A nice big picture window on the front there, as I said, inside. The front looks pretty free of damage. A few aerial clips and bits and pieces on the side there I need looking at. And that's coming down the non-door side there, it all looks okay. Around the back here as well, so the back looks all right. Down the door side looks all right. Needs a good wash off as it's been gone a bit green where it's been up against a bush or something at the back. Uh, but the outside all looks pretty clean from damage. Dropping down, look at the chassis. It's a galvanized chassis. So that's all solid and nothing to worry about, which is good news. So that's been our Willoughby Salisbury. It's a double glazed, centrally heated, 33 by 12 two bed. It's a nice size. If you don't want anything too massive, but you still want a 12 foot van, you've got a lot of space in there. Nice, comfortable size caravan. It's priced at 13885. If you've got any questions at all, please reach out. Until next time, uh, catch you on the flip side. Cheers.